using your voice and then dramatic arts of acting, playing roles. Um, and then as well, uh, there's a big focus integrated through, uh, other, through the, those classes on mental wellness and as well mindfulness. So the whole mission behind it is to offer children uh, tools as, uh, as ways for themselves to express their emotions and to identify their emotions while nurturing uh, positive mental wellness and mindfulness is kind of the key to all of that. So um, it kind of started within myself a long time ago because I grew up in dance and although it was a big outlet for me, it also was the cause of a lot of personal struggle for me. Um, so I, I felt like there needed to be a more mindful way to teach kids and also just to share tools of how to take care of yourself because I feel like as an adult, I was looking for that. I was searching for ways to take care of myself and deal with all the pain and all the struggle that I had. And although I'm grateful for my journey, uh, I couldn't help but wish that I had that when I was young. Brazil 
into my real life, if you like, and, uh, and suddenly felt very blocked creatively and incredibly frustrated because I felt so free and that I wasn't judging myself and I was just writing because I was away in a different headspace. And then when I came back, um, it's almost like all of the Jolene voices came back uh, even more so than before and started judging everything that I had done and, and, and it just blocked me completely. And then one day I came back and I was at home, it was this horrible day outside, and this song came out. Um, and it is actually a very sweet, happy song in many ways, but it talks about inspiration, um, where that comes from. I felt like very much like I was a portal. Um, so I did, it, it, it was hard to know how to write when it wasn't flowing freely, if that makes sense. And so it talks, it starts with talking about inspiration as a concept, and then it just, uh, it's, it's a, it encompasses like spirituality and not overthinking, being in your body. Um, and I'm not going to tell you anymore because you're going to hear it. <laughs> Every, I want everyone to hear it. Right. 
sento molto. Ok, prima di, di tradurre eh, chiamerei tutti gli autografi di Melanie uh, sopra, quindi everyone who has Melanie's autograph should go upstairs. Eh, la domanda era, eh, è possibile secondo te che eh, Willa avrà eh, un momento di redenzione e nel caso Waverly la aiuterà? E dice sì sarebbe bello se, se Willa magari le salvasse le, le sorelle, ci sarebbe bene tutti. E, per quanto riguarda l'aiuto di Waverly, quello forse dipenderebbe dalle circostanze, dice Tom, però ovviamente se, se vedessi che la sorella ha, ha davvero delle buone intenzioni non ci sarebbero dubbi. Io nel questo. Dominique. Non mi dura la No pressure at all. You're when we come up. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, my album come out. Yeah. Um, I think uh, that there will need to be uh, really, honestly, the honest answer is um, I really, I think that the next step, I've been toying with what is the next step with my music because Like I say, I've written an album of yeah. songs, and I could just go to a studio and record them and be done with it. But I think what I'm really searching for, or waiting patiently for, is the universe to grant me a musical partner that will add uh, a layer to it in the form, hopefully, to start off with a double bass. Um, I feel like that would be really like married to her. Basically I was in Asheville in the States and uh, I was fortunate enough to stay at two amazing musicians' house and we jammed together for the first time some of my music and it was one of the most incredible feelings I've ever had in my entire life and it took me so far out of my head and so into the music that um, it just deepened the whole experience for me and I think that I would like to um, collaborate creatively first before I put anything sort of writing down to a disc, if that makes sense. So, that didn't answer your question. Um, <laughs> hopefully, within a year, I don't know. Yeah. 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 I love you. Yeah. 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 Quiet for such a long time, I went to the complete opposite. 
so it was quite overwhelming at the beginning. Um, but I think I was in the best place to deal with India, and I absolutely loved it. I did like dreamt about going to India for so long because my mum and dad, my mum and dad met on the side of the motorway when my, my dad was hitchhiking, and then no, my mum was hitchhiking, and my dad happened to be the person who picked her up on the side of the motorway. <laughs> if in doubt, stick your finger out. You never know what might happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's the moral of the story. Um, and then, yeah, they ended up traveling India, and she turned 30 when she was in India. And they traveled for three months. So I'd had, you know, stories and pictures of the trip since I was a child, and I was very much pulled to go there and experience it for myself. And of course, I went with Varun, who. Um, I'm not going to speak too much to Varun's experience, but um, it was one of the most amazing things to see Varun come to terms with it, who he is as an Indian man, um, and you know, being first generation Canadian and what that looks like, and witnessing it. He had a really um, enlightening, very, very, very spiritual experience. And be, being able to observe that, I think, inspired me to dive deeper into my own stuff. Um, so I'm forever grateful to Varun for that experience. It was unbelievable, you guys. We were in the desert for three days and in this tiny little tent in the middle of nowhere where you can see anything around. And he just had this like epiphany. <gasps> Awakening moment, and it was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my gosh, amazing! So that inspired me to continue my journey, which then led me on to being brave enough to go to Brazil and travel for five months, going up into the Amazon and everything that comes with that. Um, and with Brazil, I very much made it my mission to put everything that I had learned in Vipassana and meditation into practical everyday life. So trying to deepen the practice so that it's in every moment rather than just in meditation. And it was very, very difficult and very challenging. But I got to moments where I didn't have a single thought the entire time and my gut was guiding me everywhere. And the, the only way of describing it is like it felt like it was magic because it was taking me exactly where I needed to be all the time. Uh, and I was in a state of flow that I had never experienced before, and just pure and utter joy and, and peace in a way that I've never experienced before. So uh, it was really well remarkable. Thank you for asking. <laughs> OK, la domanda per Don come è stato il suo viaggio in Brasile, in India, in tutti questi posti, Grazie. 
che ha iniziato a portare la meditazione nella vita di tutti i giorni e, è quasi come se fosse una magia, cioè una sensazione di pura gioia e, e pace, pace interiore. Uh, I, I really do feel like every time I travel by myself, no matter where it is too, it feels spiritual to me, because um, no one knows me, and I'm in a new place, and uh, I feel like it ignites my spirit, and my curiosity, and um, yeah. But it's also just that time alone, to focus on yourself and bettering yourself. But I have always, since my family is, my mom's dad's side is originally from Estonia. And I, the very first time I went there, I, I was very overwhelmed with feeling because I felt like I was home. And so Estonia for me, to this day remains to be a very spiritual place for me. I, I have all kinds of uh, insight and inspiration whenever I'm there. It's very healing for me. The culture is um, very respectful towards nature and a lot of their culture is focused around nature. So um, yeah. Uh, per Natalie ho anche un spirituale, un viaggio che alimenta uh, la sua curiosità, il suo spirito e um, un posto particolare.
Allora, no, non conosce nessuna canzone italiana a parte volare, eh, che non ricorda la sua e Natalie um, è una canzone lirica, O mio bambino, O mio bambino. No, no, è un'opera un lirica, O mio bambino. Bambino caro. What would be like your biggest recommendation for Italian music? Um, I'm I'm Italian stuff and I'm a little vintage. For example, I listen to Battisti. Have you ever heard about about <laughs> 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 Quale lingua vorreste, vorreste imparare? Quale lingua amate di più? 
Natalie è l'onorevole di parlare in italiano perché dice che come musica per gli orecchi e anche l'estero, <ride> ovviamente, per la sua famiglia. E no, invece, um, prima di morire, che spero non sia troppo presto, però è entrato nella lingua dei segni, anche lo spagnolo, in realtà, in portoghese, ma anche in italiano, in francese. Yeah. I tried 
quali, quali piattaforme usate per scrittare legalmente Thank you. 